give a rule in terms of sign that could be used to describe the graph above. So when we're considering wave functions like this, there's two really important things that we need to consider, which are the amplitude and the period. So the amplitude is the maximum displacement away from the mean value of the function. So y equals zero is the mean value, and it goes up to a maximum of five on four and down to a minimum of negative five on four. So the amplitude is equal to five divided by four. The second really important thing is the period of the graph. And the period is the length of the interval for one cycle. So this is the period and it is equal to three pi. In more general terms, the period of any sine or cosine graph is equal to two pi divided by n, where n is the value that's multiplied by x in the rule. So we're going to solve two pi on n is equal to three pi for n. So when we rearrange that, we find that n is equal to 2 pi divided by 3 pi, which is just equal to 2 divided by 3. So this is going to be the value that we multiply x by in our rule. Now if we were just going to start with a normal sine curve that described this graph, this is what it would look like. It would be going up first and then come down later. So we need to reflect that over the x-axis. And to do that, we need to introduce a negative sign at the front of the rule. So our rule could be y equals negative, and then five over four is the amplitude, which is the number that multiplies the sine function. And now the coefficient of x needs to be two divided by three. So this is going to be two x over three. So that is a rule involving sine that could be used to describe this graph. For part B, we want to give a rule in terms of cosine that could be used to describe the same graph. So cosine and sine are complementary, so it means that we should just be able to translate the cosine graph so that we get the same curve. So if we started with something like y equals 5 over 4 times cos of 2x over 3, we'd have something that looks like this. So it would come down and then come back up. And what we'd find is if we could translate this, we'd be able to get that graph to sit perfectly on top of the blue graph that we're trying to find an equation for. So this here would be x is three pi, and the y value would be five over four. And down here, this minimum would be at three pi on two, and the minimum would be at negative five on four. So what you should start to see is that we just need to translate the graph in this direction by a certain amount. And that certain amount is the thing that we now need to find. So this three pi on two, which is at the minimum, if we have a look at that, that could be written as six pi on four. And we wanna change every X value so that instead of being six pi on four, where the minimum occurs, we want the minimum to be at three pi on four. So that's equivalent to a difference of three pi on four. So we want to translate the graph three pi on four units in the negative x direction. So to do this, we're going to have y equals five over four times cos. And then inside the brackets, we know that we need the two divided by three to multiply the x value. So that gives us the period that we want. And then we want to translate this graph in the negative x direction. So we're going to add on the three pi on four that we found previously. And then this is the rule for a cosine graph that would describe the graph above.